Amen. Now look at this. I want to look at the application. You say, yeah, 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 that's all good. But are you going to do it? Right? Uh, am I right? Are you going to do it? That's not everybody. Or it had really been loud. Everybody say, yes! yes! I heard you. Okay. Number one. Could you, in this timing, let's say for, what is today? Uh, would it be 17 days till the first of the year? Is that right? For 17 days, read one chapter a day. Could you do that one thing? Everybody say, one thing. Because maybe you're not used to reading the Bible. Just one thing. Everybody say, one thing. Could you write one word which God gave you each day that you'd be listening? <laughs> That's what Mary chose. She chose to listen. That's what David chose. He chose to inquire and to listen. That's what Paul chose, to reach up to get what God had, to just write down that one word. Could you repent of one error each day, or have you decided you're perfect? You know, I am sure God sees a dozen errors or a hundred errors every day. But could I write down just one and say, God, I don't like this. I'm sorry for it. It's not a good thing. Ugh, I don't want it. And then could you claim one new promise each day? Everybody say one. The power of one that is so involved. And then I ask you, and you can do this on your own, to write down maybe four things you could eliminate in these days before the first of the year. Are there some things you could eliminate, like too many cookies, too much fudge, wasting time, gossip? Are there some things you could just drop? Could you? I believe you could. Now, I'm going to tell you something that I know will help you know in, especially for next year. Pastor Reese and Sarah put out a Bible reading plan. It is the best one in the whole world. Isn't that good? Because you're the best people in the whole world. So you should have the best Bible reading plan. Amen? When you leave this morning, you can pick this up because without a plan, most people plan to fail. You've got to have a plan. Everybody say a plan. And so we put this plan in your hands and they're available back there at the book and tape table. The plan. Everybody say the plan. And I have noticed as I walk in the Word and read the Word and meditate on the Word and speak the Word and do the Word, God gives me boldness.